Okay, in this video we're going to go ahead and focus on a skill that we're going to need um, and that skill is called rationalizing denominators and just to give you some background of what that means is that any time that we have, if you look at our four examples that we have here, is that any time that we have a radical in the denominator of a fraction, um, it's considered bad math etiquette just to leave it down there. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take a look at um, ways to undo that and some different uh, things that you might run into while you're, uh, you're practicing uh, this important skill for uh, the upcoming new section here. So at any rate, um, something that we want to keep in mind is this fact right here is that if I take the square root of some number times the square root of that exact same number, it is just going to undo the square root signs and give us that number. So for example, if I were to say the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is going to give me 3. The square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is going to give me 7. And I'm sure that you see that pattern. So what we're going to do is that we're going to just show how to, um, to do this out and, uh, and see where this takes us. Okay, so number 1 here is that I have the square root of 5 on the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 5. And now I have up top 1 times the square root of 5, oops, which is just going to give me the square root of 5. And on the bottom, I have square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is going to give me 5. And this is going to be the way that we would want to write our our answer okay now it's mathematically correct same thing with this guy right here is that I got the square root of 2 on the bottom so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2 and that's going to give me 2 square root of 2 all over 2 because 2 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2 okay um, that said, is that sometimes when we're all done, we might have some more cleaning up to do. And we always check for if we can reduce these guys outside of the radical sign. It looks like we can. So, uh, 2 cancels out with 2, and that is just going to leave us with the square root of 2. Okay? So there might be some work to do um, as soon as you're done here. Okay? Or as soon as you apply the rationalizing technique. The square root of 3 for number 3 here uh, to the top and the bottom. <clears throat> and in this case, we're going to get on the bottom or the top the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, which is going to give me the square root of 6. It's a legal move to go ahead and multiply. If we got these two square roots, multiply these two and then give us that. But you got to leave it as a square root. It doesn't undo one another. Okay. And then finally on the bottom, we got the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3. We cannot cancel um, a square root with a whole number, square root on top, whole number on bottom. So we just leave that as is. And then finally, if we end up with a square root and another number on the bottom, we don't have to worry about that other number. We just attack the square root. Square root of 2, square root of 2 to the top. And multiplying this out, this is going to give me 3 square root of 2 on top. And then I multiply these two. That's going to give me a 2, but i got to bring that 5. So i got a 5 times a 2, just like that. And then i got to clean it up. And so what I want to do is that I bring the top down, 3 square root of 2, and, of course, 5 times 2 is 10. And that is that guy all simplified out. So um, go ahead and take a look at the activity and um, get good at this because we're going to need it. And I will uh, see you in the next video.